Hello, boys and girls. Welcome back to Kids Club. Are you ready for a great day? Bobo and I, we're ready for a great day. Right, Bobo? Hey, what is it that you've got there? Let me look. <gasps> look what Bobo has. See, Bobo is all excited because tomorrow is our big adventure to the pond. We're gonna go canoeing, and so Bobo decided to hold on to a fish to remind us that we're gonna be in a canoe and we're gonna learn how to paddle and steer a canoe. Isn't that amazing? I bet a lot of you guys think that the canoe just kind of goes in the right direction by itself. No, you need to have a rudder to steer the canoe. And I'll show you how to do that tomorrow with a paddle. So we're all excited about our big adventure to the pond tomorrow, right, Bobo? He is so... Now, last week, you might remember, he missed our big adventure to the farm because he was naughty and he wouldn't listen. But he's been good all week. He's been on time. He's listened. He's not jumped around. And this time, it's very important for him to listen because in a canoe, if you jump around, you could flip it and end up in the cold water. And so Bobo has been practicing being good all week, and he's done a great job. Aren't you proud of Bobo? I know Mr. Jim is. Well, we're gonna start with a word of prayer. Dear Jesus, thank you for today. Thank you that no matter how big you are, and even though we might not always understand it, you love us. No matter how crazy the world seems, you love us. And even though we don't always know why you let things happen, we have faith and trust that you love us. So help us, Lord, to understand. And when we can't, help us to have faith to get us through the times that we don't understand. In Jesus' name, amen. Now, we have some big hellos to say to some of our special friends. Hello, Olivia. Hello, Daniel. Hey, Stephen. Hi, Julia. Hi, Mark. Hi, Bethany. I hope you guys are having a great time and you're growing and learning and listening as you're home with mom and dad. But always remember, Jesus loves you. Now, in our treasure box, we have our treasure, God's word. And I'll get that in a second. But I want to show you something special that has to do with our lesson today. And that is this box right here. Now, I don't know if you can see the, the elephant that's carved into it. A friend of mine by the name of Tom made this and he gave it to me and it's like a treasure box, kind of like our treasure box here. It's really called a puzzle box because how do you open it? I mean, how do I get this thing open? Well, you have to know how to get the key out. The elephant is actually the key. Watch what happens. I take the elephant out and I'll set the elephant aside. And now look, it still doesn't open. Well, now I've got to slide this. It's got a puzzle piece. And so now that piece comes off. And now there's another piece that I got to pull out. And look at the treasure that's inside the treasure box or the puzzle box. Now, I treasure my friendship with my friend Tom. And I think he treasures my friendship. And he gave this to me as a way to remember. So the next time you're at church and you're in Mr. Jim's office, you could ask to look at the treasure box. And I even have a special story to tell about the cross that's inside. That's another one of Mr. Jim's treasures. So I'm gonna put this all back together. First that goes on. And now the cover. And now the little elephant, which is the key. And that slides right there. And now that's the treasure box. And 
it takes some understanding how to get into it. Normally a box, you just kind of open it up. Like there'd be hinges here and you would just flip the top open. But this box is a little difficult. You've got to figure it out. It's, it takes some thinking, some understanding. And there are some people who would look at this and they wouldn't figure it out. It'd be too hard for them. But there is a way to open it up. And when you open up this box, the treasure that's inside reminds us of the love that Jesus had for us, that he died on the cross. And there's a lot of things that happen in our life that don't make sense. They're hard to understand. They're hard to open up. But inside those things, God has something special for us. And sometimes it's not easy. Sometimes it's even uncomfortable. But God loves us still. Now, we're going to look in our big treasure box that we have all the time. And of course, the treasure that we can always count on, it will always be there, is God's Word, the Bible. And we've been practicing a treasure verse that is John 3, 16, putting it in our minds and hiding it in our hearts. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever would believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. And so that's the treasure verse that you're working on and your mommies and daddies and the big people in your house to learn it, to memorize it. But last time, I gave you two treasure verses that I wanted you to read with the big people in your house. And it was after we studied a devotional about how God shelters us, how he protects us. Remember, we talked about the birds with wings and how a mama bird will hold her wings out and the baby chicks will come underneath to be protected and kept warm. And I see that with my chickens sometimes. Well, you and I are sheltered, protected by God. And in Isaiah 12, verse 2, it says, Behold, God is my salvation. I will trust and will not be afraid. For the Lord God is my strength and my song. And he has become my salvation. And that's a beautiful verse. It just tells us how wonderful God is and that we believe in him. And Psalm 61 verses 2 and 3 said, from the ends of the earth, I call you. And when your heart is faint, now what it's basically saying is no matter where we are from the ends of the earth, way over there and way over there, God is with us. He protects us. So from the ends of the earth, I call you when my heart is faint. When I am weak, I call God no matter where I am. And this is what I say. Lead me to the rock that is higher than I. In other words, God is strong and he is bigger and better and, and able, better than me. For you have been my refuge or protection, a strong tower against the enemy. And there's actually songs that are sung in church that use Psalm 61. So from the ends of the earth, no matter where I am, I call out to God when my heart is faint or weak, when I am weak. No matter where I am, I can cry out to God. Lead me to the rock. Help me find that strength, that strong foundation. Because you are higher than I. For you have been my protection, my refuge, a strong tower against the enemy. You know what? God's word has a lot of wisdom in it. We should read it a little more often. So that's pretty cool. Now, 
We also have in our treasure box today, our devotional book. And Bobo is so excited because today is about understanding. And sometimes Mr. Jim and Bobo, we don't understand things. It's hard, kind of like our puzzle box. We don't figure it out so quickly. And so today we're going to learn about figuring out the puzzle of life. And it's entitled, When You Don't Understand. Our Bible verse comes from Isaiah 6, verse 3. And they were calling to one another. And the they in this verse are angels, by the way. And they were calling to one another, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. The whole earth is full of his glory. And holy is a reminder that God is so wonderful, so big, so awesome, that we almost can't understand him. He's so great. And this is what our devotional says today. Every day, every minute, every second, I want you to be filled with thankfulness, not with complaining. Do you ever complain? Mom, I don't like that. Do I have to eat that? Do we have to do the schoolwork? I don't like that. Oh, that's complaining. Do you ever do that? Mr. Jim does, and Bobo certainly does. Do we have to do this? Do we have to do that? Well, I want you to be filled, God says, with thankfulness and not complaining. I am the creator and the controller of the universe. God made it and he keeps it going. God created it and he helps it to keep going in the right direction. The sun keeps coming up and keeps going down and the clouds keep going across the sky and sun comes out and rain comes down. Birds have little baby chicks in the spring and a whole new family happens every year. God is in control. I am the creator and the controller of all the universe. Heaven and earth are filled with my glory. The flowers grow and they make a little seed and they go in the ground and next year a new flower grows. God made it, he designed it, and keeps it going. When you complain, uh-oh, Bobo, when you complain, what's that? Oh yeah, Mr. Jim, when you complain, yeah, I complain too. When you complain, you are saying that you think you could run the world better than I do. That's what God says. Wow. I don't think I can make the sun come up. I don't think I can make the rain come down. I don't think I can make the flowers grow. But when I complain, I'm basically saying, I could do a better job than you can. And that's wrong. When you complain, you are saying that you think you could run the world better than I do, says God. Things will happen that you don't understand, that Mr. Jim and Bobo doesn't understand. You ask why and why not? Do you ever do that? Why, Mommy? Why, Daddy? Why, why, why? But you, not, you do not know all the things that I know, says God. You can only see today, but I can see, this is God talking, I can see yesterday, today, and all the days to come, forever, all at the same time. I know how everything fits together. God knows how everything fits together. No matter how difficult, no matter how complicated, no matter how strange, and God does that so that there's something beautiful 
that comes out of it, something beautiful inside. God knows how all the things in our life, good and bad, fit together. We don't have faith, trust in me, says God. And that trust, in that trust, I will take care of you. Be thankful and praise me, even when you don't understand. Wow. We are supposed to say thank you to God. Thank you, Jesus, even when we don't understand, because we know in our hearts that he loves us. So even when things don't seem to make sense, when the world is crazy and things hurt, we need to say, I know God loves me and God loves you too. Right, Bobo? He loves you. Bobo is so excited about that. Now we have a very special song today. It's a new one that I don't think we've sung before. And so I'm hoping you'll learn it. It's a lot of fun. And it's one that I remember learning when I was real little, 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 when I was very little. And Mr. Jim isn't so little anymore. So when you sing this song, I want you to be excited because you know it's a special song for you and for me. It goes like this. Oh, be careful, little eyes, what you see. Oh, be careful, little eyes, what you see. For the Father up above is looking down with love. So be careful, little eyes, what you see. Oh, be careful, little ears, what you hear. Oh, be careful, little ears, what you hear. For the Father up above is looking down with love. Oh, be careful, little ears, what you hear. Oh, be careful, little tongue, what you say. Oh, be careful, little tongue, what you say. For the Father up above is looking down with love. Oh, be careful, little tongue, what you say. Oh, be careful, little hands, what you do. Oh, be careful, little hands, what you do. For the Father up above is looking down with love. Oh, be careful, little hands, what you do. Oh, be careful, little feet, where you walk. Oh, be careful, little feet, where you go. For the Father up above is looking down with love. Oh, be careful, little feet, where you go. Oh, be careful, little heart, who you trust. That's an important verse. Oh, be careful, little heart, who you trust. Who should we trust? For the Father up above is looking down with love. Oh, be careful, little heart, who you trust. Oh, be careful, little mind, what you think. Oh, be careful, little mind, what you think. For the Father up above is looking down with love. Oh, be careful, little mind, what you think. Now, I hope that song meant something special to you. Our eyes and our ears and our mouths, and our minds, and our hearts, and our hands, and our feet. Basically, all of us, our whole self, our whole mind, and heart, and body needs to be careful to honor God. And when we don't understand things, that's okay. God's got this. He understands what you need and what I need even sometimes when we don't like it. So, be careful, little eyes what you see, and ears what you hear, and tongues what you say, and hands what you do, and feet where you go, and heart who you trust, and mind what you think. 
And always remember to have that trust and that faith in God, even when it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. We're going to close in prayer in just a moment, but I have some treasure verses for you. Woohoo! And again, that's from God's love letter to you, his Bible, his word. And the one that we keep reminding you about is John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever should believe in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. And that's the one that you're trying to put in your head and hide in your heart so that when we get back together at church, you can tell Mr. Jim. But our treasure verses that I want you to look up with your big people at your house are Hebrews 13, verse 8. Hebrews 13, verse 8. 2 Corinthians 5, verse 7. And a funny book again. 1 Thessalonians 5, 18. And it's all about even when you don't understand, trust in God. And remember what the angels were saying. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. The whole earth is filled with his glory. You know what? God's got this. He made it and he's in control. And all we need to do is trust him. Let's close in prayer, boys and girls. Dear Jesus, thank you so much for a great day with Kids Club Online. Thank you for Olivia and Daniel and Stephen and Julia and Mark and Bethany. Thank you that you love them and they love you. Help us to, to grow in understanding your word and understanding you, knowing that in Jesus' name, Lord, we ask that you would help us to have a deeper trust and faith walk with you. And as we get ready to go on our big adventure to the pond, keep us safe and keep us behaving. In Jesus' name, amen. Now, I hope you guys had a great time with Kids Club today. And tomorrow, if Bobo still behaves, we get to go canoeing on the pond. And I don't know what we're going to find. Maybe no animals, maybe lots. But we're going to be on the water and we're going to learn how to paddle and how to steer a canoe. And it's going to be so much fun. And God will be with us, whether we're there or here or anywhere, because he's always with us. Remember, Jesus loves you. Have a great day. Until next time, boys and girls. Bye.